Hi, my name is Ben Ward. I love worship, I love music, I love making, I love being creative, I love people, and I love to see people fall in love with Jesus, and I love that in my own life. I live in Atlanta, Georgia. I've been married to my wife, Olivia, for 22 years. We have two sons, Harper, who's four, and Felix, who's four months, and they are the joy of my life. They say it doesn't matter. They say it's out of date. They say and they would rather live a life they can make. I came from South Alabama, of all places, and grew up uh, in music. My mom was a Sunday school teacher. Um, she taught me the books of the Bible in the third grade. And um, I grew up in a Christian home, in a place that valued music. Uh, my grandparents did sacred harp music. They still do it to this day, um, the shape note singing. And so it's deep in my blood, worship and celebrating the Lord through music. Um, I went to the University of Alabama. Don't hold it against me if that's a problem. And I met my wife Olivia there, and we both were musicians. And we went to grad school in Boston, went to Berklee College of Music and my wife, Olivia, um, went to Newton Conservatory in opera. We believe our Father's King. We believe His Spirit's here. We believe Jesus Christ. turn our focus and our heart to Him and everything changes and so much hope and so much life and so much freedom and so much power are in that place. You brought the light, you brought the light into darkness, delivering those who believe. You are the faithful provider, supply. worship leader gives an invitation, come all who are thirsty, as it says in the scripture. Uh, I will give you drink. I will give you living water that never runs dry. Um, I view myself as a host, almost, in the sense of we all have a seat in heavenly places, the scripture says. So when we come together, one of my jobs is to help you find your seat. River of mountains and shaker of seas, you command, I love to say, Lord, we delight in you even as you delight in us, like the Psalms say. Um, I love to say, Lord, we sing to you even as you sing over us, as the scripture says. And that's the kind of thing I'm looking to convey in a corporate meeting, um, in a rehearsal, in daily life, in meetings at a coffee shop or wherever it is, is to help people find that. Because when they find that, no matter what their gifting is, no matter if they're an artist or a creative person, or no matter what it is, everything flows from that place. It is why I sing that your praise will ever be on my lips, ever be on my lips. Your praise will ever be on my lips, ever be on my lips. I believe in one generation proclaiming His goodness and His works to another. I believe in one socioeconomic class proclaiming His goodness to the other. I believe in one race and ethnicity proclaiming His goodness to the other. We proclaim to this group that we may not even have much in common with, and they proclaim back to us and we receive and we learn from each other. And this is how we learn to love one another. This is how we learn to love our neighbor as ourselves. And this is how we love our neighbor, and in so doing, we love the Lord our God with all our heart, soul, mind, and strength. And I love to do this in a language that people can understand. I love to do this in a language that is accessible, that is uh, something that speaks to the heart. 